let us calculate gravitational field strength due to a point mass. Say we are having a point mass M, then as we already studied in its surrounding region, there exists a gravitational field. Now in this situation at a distance x from the point mass, if we are having a point P, if we place a test mass M0 over here, in this situation this mass M will exert a force F according to Newton's law of gravitation on M0 which can be given as G M M0 by X square. This X can also be written as a position vector of point P. So in this situation we can write gravitational field strength at P due to point mass M is, we can simply state this force is acting on M0 because M0 is placed in the gravitational field of this point mass M. So gravitational field at point P due to the point mass M can be written as GP and this GP we can write as F by M0 and its magnitude we can directly see if we substitute it will be GM by X square M0 gets cancelled out. And if we wish to write it down vectorially then vectorially also it can be written as this GP vector is equals to as the direction of forces towards the point mass M. So it is exactly opposite to the vector x. So it can be written as a negative of gm by x square x cap or it can be written as negative of gm by x cube into x vector. This is the way how we can write vectorially the gravitational field at a point in the surrounding of the point mass m. Also remember that this result is going to be one of the basic tool using which we can find out the gravitational field due to extended bodies also. Let us also discuss that. In continuation we can discuss gravitational field strength due to extended bodies like say we are having an extended body of mass m. As we have discussed every mass creates a gravitational field in its surrounding. In its surrounding also there exists a gravitational field. And say there exists a point P in the surrounding and we wish to find out the gravitational field strength at point P. Then we can consider an elemental mass dm in it. And say with respect to point P this dm is located at a position vector r. Then due to dm at point P we can say the gravitational field dg will exist in the direction toward dm. So in this situation we can write gravitational field strength at P due to dm is this can be written as dg vector and uh, as dg vector is along the direction of position vector of this elemental mass dm this can be written as uh, g dm by r cube into r vector and uh, if we wish to find out the gravitational field strength at P due to whole body is this can be given as G at point P vector is integration of dg vector. Right now as we are taking a general case we are just integrating the expression which is integration of G dm by r cube multiplied by r vector which is for the integration of the whole body m. But if some symmetric or the dimensions of body are given, the body is symmetric or the dimensions of body are given. In that case we don't directly go for the vector integration, we can resolve this elemental gravitational field strength due to dm in different directions like x or y axis and we'll integrate it separately. Like from the next section we are going to take up various applications of calculation of gravitational field strength. With those it will also be clear how we can mathematically calculate it rather than by directly using this expression of vector integration.